Hello and welcome back to another training tutorial here on the Sparring DK channel. Today we are going to have a look at central attacking midfielders and the player I've chosen for this tutorial is Dybala here from Juventus. He has a high potential, he is only young and he has some of the key attributes that we will be looking for for uh, really getting a really high class central attacking midfielder. So uh, at the start of career mode let's take a look at his current rating. Right, so Dybala is an 88 at the start of career mode, but obviously with uh, these training scenarios that I will put in play later on in this video, uh, we'll see how high we can get him. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of this one, load up a custom squad and show you the key attributes you need to be training for a central attacking midfielder. Right, so here we are, 99 Dybala. Let's have a look at the key attributes required to get a cam up to a 99 rated. So if we jump in and we take a look at his attacking, now, uh, finishing 99, obviously the ones that are up at 99 are the key attributes for a central attacking midfielder. Now, let's have a look at the statistics and the numbers and the equations that I've worked out for this one. So, uh, finishing is worth seven overall points out of the uh, the 100 possible to uh, get him up to that 99 rating. So, that means that each stat point is worth 14%. Um, so, for every 14 points, uh, he will go up one rating and eventually you'll get that seven. The next one is short passing. This is uh, very heavily weighted at 16 value. Uh, so 16 points of his total 100 overall uh, will be involved by short passing. So it's definitely a key stat that you do want to be trading. Each point um, is worth 6.25%. So those are going to add up very, very quickly. Um, that does it there for attacking. Let's go into defending. Nothing there. Don't worry about the training. He's defending. You don't really need to. This is purely uh, for training up overall. Obviously, other stats are definitely going to help him out as a player, but uh, we're purely concentrating here on his overall. So dribbling uh, is worth 13 points. Uh, so 7.69% for every stat point in dribbling. So that's another heavily weighted one there. 13 out of his overall 100. Long passing is only worth four, so uh, it's a 20% increase. So for every 20 points, uh, he will go up one point uh, towards his overall in uh, long pass. Ball control is worth 15, so it's another high stat, high weighted one, 6.66%. Uh, so for every six or seven points, you're gonna go up in one overall. We move on to power now, and long shots, interestingly enough, are a part of a central attacking midfielders uh, overall getting to 99. And this is worth five points, so 20% um, there. So for every 20 points in long shots, he should go up in one overall. We move on to movement now. Acceleration and sprint speed, these are two things that you cannot train. So you're gonna look uh, in that transfer market, you're gonna look for a, a fairly pacey uh, sort of cam if you really wanna get a high overall rated player, especially um, youth academy wise, you're probably looking for an attacker or a winger that can play in that cam position. Hopefully we'll get you some decent pace there uh, for your cam. So acceleration, it's only worth four points out of his overall. Uh, so 25% every 25 points. He should go up one, uh, and sprint speed's only worth three. So that's for every 33 points, he should go up in about one overall. Uh, next, we have agility. That's also on the list. Um, only worth three stat points, but um, you can train that one, obviously. Uh, 33 points for one overall point. And then we have reactions, one of those stats that we cannot train, but uh, we know that it's pretty valuable across the, across the across the board on most players. Uh, this is worth 7% for um, reaction. So for every 14, 15 points, you will get one point in reaction. So when you're going out looking for a cam, you're basically looking for someone that has decent acceleration and sprint speed and some very good reactions. You're not gonna really get that in a youth academy player, so they may not uh, progress to that highest of ratings unless their reactions start growing themselves. But um, if you're looking out there in the real world, definitely take a look at those three stats when you're looking for the perfect central attacking mid Fielder. Got a couple of other ones that we need to have a look at here in mentality. Uh, attack position, well this is a pretty decent one. This is worth 9 out of a possible 100 points. So for every 11 points in attack position, you'll go up in one overall rating. And then vision is worth a massive 14 points out of the top 100. So for every 7 to 8 points, you should go up in one overall. So that, that's where you get him up to 99. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull back the untrainables uh, to his starting ability so we can see even if he doesn't grow into career mode other than us training him at what level he could get to. So it's all the three training ones here in movement. So his acceleration at the start of career mode is 88. Uh, his sprint speed is at 84. 
and his reactions are 84. So if none of these progress uh, through his career mode, you'd assume they would because he's pretty young. He might get one or two points up, but uh, this is just a pure scenario. If he doesn't grow in any of those three untrainable stats and we get the rest of them to 99, what rating can we actually get to Bala to? Uh, on so FIFA, his um, potential I think is 93. So uh, let's have a look now at what we could get him to if we really train the absolute bejesus out of him. So there you can see, even if his reactions, his attack position, uh, his acceleration and sprint speed don't increase through an entire career mode, if you train the absolute junk time out of Dybala, he will get his way to a 99. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to back out. Uh, I'm going to jump into a season. I'm going to train him in all of the key opportunity spots uh, for an entire season and see how quickly we can start leveling him up and see how he is at the end of one season with full training. Right, so the date here is the 17th of June, and we'll jump down here, and uh, I'll load the previous session. So I've already got Dybala up to a 95 just in one season using all five training slots for an entire season. I know it's probably a little bit of overkill, but it is possible. You know, if you've got no one else you want to train and you want to get a 95 Dybala, this is how you're going to do it. All right, let's go through the key scenarios here that you want to use for a cam and their importance. So first and foremost, we're going to use Bucket Up. You can use the uh, the option with the stamina if you're using a Youth Academy player and you need to get that stamina up. But uh, this will get uh, his stats up a little bit quicker. Um, so we're concentrating on dribbling, ball control, and agility. Now that just that one training spot is worth 31% of his overall. So if those stats keep increasing um, and you get them all to 99, that's worth 31 overall points already. The next one is through the gates. Vision and short pass combined equal 30%. So you can see there, if you only wanted to use two slots for your central attacking midfielder, those would be the two that I would suggest. Uh, bucket up and through the gates. They're probably going to get, that's a 61% overall increase uh, just using those two, you know, scenarios. So you can see through the other training videos, maybe you you know, you're obviously working out. You're not going to train them all in five slots continuously, but this sort of gives you a better indication of which ones you should be using on which positions. The third one here is attacking scenarios. This takes a care of uh, attack positioning and uh, the finishing. So you get two stats completed in that one. It's only worth, uh, what's that, 16, 16 overall. So still an option there if you're looking for someone that can try and bang in a few goals and the likes. He's going to get the addition of shot power as well. So if you're playing a one striker sort of formation and you want that cam getting involved, maybe that's something that you switch to, push him up the field a little bit more into a centre forward position and, and that could be some way that you really train up your central attacking midfielder. The next two probably are, you know, at the back end, not really 100% needed, but uh, obviously they will affect the overall because they do have statistics in here that do increase their overall. So we've got advanced free kicks because long shots are obviously uh, in here, only worth five stat points, but uh, you know, it's still handy and he's getting free kicks and curves. So you, you'll probably find yourself a genuine free kick taker if you start working in on that one. And the final one is advanced crossing. Generally not going to cross a lot with your cam, uh, but that will definitely help him out with taking uh, corners. But uh, it's the long passing that will help him out. So if he ducked back to help out the defense and that, that play that long ball forward out to the wingers and that sort of stuff, that's only worth 4%. So that's the last one I would probably choose. But there is five key strategy um, options for you, starting with bucket up and through the gates, the two key ones for a central attacking midfielder, and then uh, attacking scenarios followed by advanced free creeks and advanced crossing, depending on how your play style is. So let's go and have a look at uh, Dybala's stats here at the end of the season and see how much he's increased in some of those stats that we weren't able to train. All right, so here we have Dybala, he's a 95. He went up seven in one season of training. Uh, we'll jump across here, picked up 24 goals and 12 assists, not a bad job there. All right, attribute-wise, let's have a look here. Um, so obviously we can't see the strength, the vision, or the penalties on this. I will jump over into the other part of the uh, the lineup so you can see those. But his acceleration did go up plus three. So uh, even though we didn't need it, he's gotten quicker. Same as with his sprint speeds, up plus two. Agility went up eight, and he's at 99 agility. So that's maxed out. His balance increased by one. His jumping increased by one. His stamina increased by one. Reactions up by one to 85. His aggression interceptions have gone up as well. Composure there at 84. Uh, attack position up by six to 90. His ball control up by 5 to 98. Crossing is up 4 to 84. Dribbling at 98, up 6. Finishing up 10 to 95. Free kick accuracy up 4 to 88. Heading accuracy, obviously, we weren't training that. His long pass is up to 83. Short pass up to 91. 
Uh, shot power up 4 to 86. Long shots up to 95. So he should be able to knock in some bangers. Um, stand tackle up by one. That's handy. And his curve is up by 3 to 91. He's got the finesse shot, flare, technical dribbler, set play specialist, and taking finesse free kicks specialties. Let's jump into the other menu just to see if his strength, vision, and uh, penalties have increased as well. All right, so here we are. He's only got 65 strength, so that might be a little bit of an issue. I like a big, strong central attacking midfielder that can just push his way through a defense. But, uh, you know, he's got the pace and everything about him. He, you know, he should be fairly decent there. Um, Vision-wise... Um, where are we at for vision? Oh, I'm blind and I cannot see. What was it? No, it's on the other one. 90 vision, that is well decent. And penalties at 89. I mean, he's, he's a superstar player. If you can get him up to 95 in his first season, you probably don't need to train him for the rest of the career mode, to be fair. But if you want to, push on, do another couple of seasons. Uh, once all those stats hit 99, you could probably pull that one out of the way. And, uh, well, there's no reason why you can't get Dybala to a 99. But hopefully that's helped you out with central attacking midfielders. Uh, I am keen to do some more of these tutorials, so feel free to leave me some comments uh, down below on another position that you would like me to do. But that's all we've got time for today. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.